Test the test one, two, one, two. Wait. Test the test the test the test the one, two, one, two. Test the test the test the one, two, one, two. 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 One two one two one two. One two one two. Test and test them. <laughs> test and test them. One two one two. All right. Test and test them. One two one two. Raise your hand if you hear me. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to preach the gospel to all creatures as Jesus Christ announced. Some people don't like it. Who cares? God said, go out into the world and show my people that I'm real. So we're here today to preach to the lost. We're in a lost state. A day where there's no God. An hour where people are turning their back on God. We all know that Jesus Christ is Lord God Almighty. He proved that in Israel. The Muslims don't like to hear that. No, 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 no. They don't like to hear that Jesus Christ is God Almighty. They believe that God is a spirit. And yes, God is a spirit. But that invisible spirit of God lives and dwells in Jesus Christ, who is God Almighty. There ain't no other. We're here today to call everyone to repentance, everyone to come to Christ. I once was a drug dealer. I once was a fool. I once was uh, a whoremonger, chasing after whores all day. What a fool I was. I once smoked weed my whole life. Smoked weed my whole life like a fool. I also drank malt liquor my whole life. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. But there was something deep down inside of me that why I was drinking, why I was chasing whores, while I was chasing beer, liquor, marijuana, there was a deep down pain inside of me. Let me tell you something, alcohol, smoking, peeling up, that stuff ain't gonna help you. It's like putting a band-aid wound on a shotgun, shotgun wound. The two don't go together. The only way to be delivered from any kind of sins you might be dealing with is the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm no longer a whoremonger chasing after whores half naked, breast all out, butts all out, looking for attention from men. Be careful, young lady, you're in the, the railroad. They come right behind you in a minute. I was delivered from drinking. Drinking my life away like a fool. Peeing up and down the streets. Fool I was. Up and down in the clubs. God said you destroy your temple. God will destroy you. God ain't playing around. God don't play around. There's coming a day for judgment. It is appointed unto men once to die. Then comes the judgment. I see some of these young ladies, man, and I look at them, I say, what's going on with the world? What's going on with the world? Half naked, showing off their butt cheeks. I mean, it's getting real bad in this world. Go try to do that in a Muslim country. You don't need to dress half naked to get a man's attention. God said to dress modestly. 
That don't mean tight pants either. Pants so tight you can see all the meats up in there. And then you got men with tight pants showing off their meats. Can you imagine how foolish we become? <laughs> foolish we become? Men dressing like women, women dressing like men. What's going on with this world? I got a biology lesson for all the kids. There's only male and female. There ain't no binary or whatever you call yourself. Ain't no cat. I ain't calling you no cat. And I ain't calling you by no pronouns. You either a man or a female. And if you ever get confused if you're a man or female, look below your belly button for confirmation. Men have a penis and women have vaginas. I think that's so sad I gotta come out here and tell people this. Come tell me I gotta identify, I gotta identify you as a cat. Be a cold day in hell. Talking about meow to me. <laughs> meow. Talking about you a cat. You need to go to one of them padded walls. Come tell me that kids. We'll give you an education one on one. Non-binary. I don't know what I am, male or female. Couldn't you imagine that? Can you imagine what they're teaching kids in school? That you can be a transgender? <laughs> Tran a man trying to be a, a man in the dress. That's what we calling them. Let me tell y'all something. Love thyself, God said. Love thyself. Whatever God made you, he made you. He didn't make a mistake. Same thing go for homosexuality. God didn't make nobody homosexual. You chose that perverted lifestyle. God bless you. You chose that lifestyle of homosexuality. Just like you chose to have sex with that woman before marriage. And now you got a baby and you're wondering why. You didn't do it the way God commanded you to do it. Ladies with their breasts all out, skirts so tight, so high you can see their butt cheeks. Don't no man want that. No, no real man. Real man don't want that. It's already been seen. The whole world can see it. We need to get in the Bible. AKA the Word of God. All my lessons came from here. All my teachers lied to me. All my teachers lied to me. Talking about science. What science going to do for me? A bunch of educated guesses. <laughs> educated guesses. Did you know that that science book you're reading came out into the 1980s? Science. God called science false. Good. God called science false. There ain't nothing the police can do over here. I'm on the public street. Get used to it. Freedom of speech. You might not like it. What I care. Some of y'all need this. Some of y'all need Jesus. Kids are so lost nowadays, man. So lost. Never seen it before. We used to pray in schools. We used to pray every day in school. The teachers would pray with us. Now you got ungodly teachers teaching ungodly things to children. Can you imagine such a place we living in, America, where they're pushing the father out of the household, making the government their daddy? I was reading something today, the other day. 23% of people, I'm sorry, 23% of households in America are one parent. One parent. No father figures in the household. 23%. Let me tell you something, fathers. If you don't take care of your kids, God calls you worse than an unbeliever. Yeah, you gotta about, what about the society that locked up a whole fucking generation of black men and made that happen? How does that make you feel? What do you mean? I mean when you put over the black fathers in jail. Yeah, putting the black fathers in jail. What they got to do with God? 
You're talking about the union of the there's family. <laughs> no, I'm talking about God, man. You just said the family. You just said Yeah, a nuclear family, a man and a, a female. Family, absolutely. You believe in that? No. I do, but I think we destroyed it. Do you believe in homosexuality? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it exists. Nobody was born homosexual. Yeah. Okay. Might be hard to hear might be hard to hear that. Good for you. Yeah. It's just like a racism, it's taught. By the way, you two black boys is weird. I know. It's kind of racism in, in the name calling shows who y'all are. Uh, uh, sir, you need to stop that smoking too. You too old for this. You know what I'm saying? You know it's bad for your lungs and you still smoke. Can you give me Samuel L. Jackson voice? Buddy, you're in basketball shorts yelling about gay people in a hoodie. What's wrong with that? You're an idiot. <laughs> I can't wear shorts. What's wrong with that? Hey. I'm Does that make you feel good? Yeah, we're up. Live, live, live hey, whatever y'all like to do it. I heard worse. <laughs> I heard worse than shorts and a basketball hoodie. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Did you know that? Uh, let's go to one, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. He doesn't talk to you no more, does he? 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. Y'all stay, let's, let's stay here. 1 Corinthians? Yes, sir. Y'all got your Bibles? You do, you do, uh, you do your, uh, your Donald Trump stuff? 1 Corinthians? Who cares about Donald Trump? Who cares about Republican and Democrat? Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. He has trading cards you don't, you don't now. Do if not even nature teach you, you that first a man with long hair is a shame to him? Did y'all know that? A what? Low hair? Long hair. Long like hair. Yours. Oh, I see. I see. I'm, I'm a sinner. I'm a like sinner. Yours. Oh, have you shaved your beard before? Uh, don't get close to me, son. I'm going to call the police. All right? Let's keep it respectful. <laughs> we'll see how that don't goes. touch me. I didn't yeah. touch you, sir. I got the camera right here, so just be careful. I didn't touch you. The camera could show. I didn't right. touch you. Ladies and gentlemen, you, so for, they hate for God's word. Yourself. They hate it. You they smoke. You're, you're they God. drink. He's back on his they just hate me. You're they hate God. what God say. I, Your God's word has changed languages seven times and been rewritten by 30 different Doesn't kings. even nature itself teach you that a man with long hair is, is a shame unto him? Is this King James? Which one? Did I know that? Which rewrite is this? There's a man. If a man stood next to a woman with long hair, you wouldn't know which one look from the back. Isn't that a shame? That's your thing. That's a, everybody else doesn't everybody even know the word of God. Most people can have like an eye. They hate God. This is what the atheists look like right here. Dude looks like they hate man. God. I'm not atheist. They say homosexuality is normal. These are the enemies of America. Enemies of God. Pray for them. Because they need Jesus. They're probably drunk, smoking their lights away. Crazy to me. God said all drunks go to hell. All drunks. Every Catholic is a drunk. I want you to hear this on read some more verses for you. Because I love you. Love both of y'all. All right, we in 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 9. Everyone listen up. Even unbelievers, we still love you. The fool has said in their heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they. That's in uh, Psalms 53.1. When y'all get home, look that up, all right? 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, God says. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate men. Effeminate men is someone with long hair. Effeminate men is someone who acts like a woman. Grown men acting like women, gossiping, acting a fool, looking for trouble nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. That would be homosexuals, uh, gentlemen. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards. Y'all hear that? Nor drunkards, nor revealers, name callers, abusive name callers. What'd you call me, an idiot and stupid? Like we were in fourth grade? <laughs> like we were in fourth grade. Who cares what your name calling is? Don't matter to me. I'm grown. Revealers or extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. This God where y'all? They hate God's people. They hate us. Oh well, let them hate us. 
We love them. Why we got to hate people? Just the hate going on in this world. Man, who cares what skin color you are? Who cares what your born skin color is? You either, uh, 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 you're a brother or sister in Christ of mine if you're obeying God. Doesn't matter about your skin color, your born skin color. Man, they are teaching these kids to be racist in school now. Racist. This man came up to me talking about, oh, you were, you was in the sla you were slaving people back then. What are you talking about? I'm only 39 years old. What are you talking about, man? What that got to do with God? What I care about what society doing? Stuff is crazy to me, man. Unbelievers, we need to send them off to an island. Send them to a school that teaches them about God daily. You know, it's sad. The schools now, they don't have God in them. They took God out of schools. Took Jesus out of school. And this is where you're getting the corruption at. Corrupted in these schools. Man, I'm telling y'all to homeschool your kids. Great job. God bless y'all. And I, I, I admire y'all modesty that y'all dress. God says for a woman to dress modestly. Let me, I'm, I'm, I got another education here. Well, I don't know where my buddies went. Men don't wear dresses. Women wear dresses. Remember that. I seen Russell Westbrook over there wearing a dress like a woman teaching y'all devil things Deuteronomy says if a man wear a woman's garment or a woman wear a man's garment all are an abomination to the Lord Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5 there's an agenda to everything there's an agenda God bless you yes sir can I ask you a question yes sir um I'm a Christian too, so I appreciate Good. what you're doing. Good to hear you. Sharing the gospel. I, I agree with what you're saying. Uh, have you read Proverbs 15.1? Go ahead and read it to me. What's it say? Oh, okay. Uh, just, no. just, uh, mm -hmm. what, you can respond and then I'll, I'll just... Absolutely. Yeah, just, do you think it, it, it applies to this? Go ahead. In, in any way. Yes, it sir. says, a, a soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Absolutely. We believe that. Yeah. Amen. And that's what I should have used with them. I'm glad you reminded me. Thank you. Okay. Absolutely. But it says in, you got your Bible with, or your phone yeah, with yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, look at 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 20. Okay. And then, uh, what? I have to leave 1, that, but yeah, 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 20 says, yeah, Them that sin all. rebuke before yeah. all, yeah, yeah. that others also may fear. No, I, I believe rebuking. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Unfortunately, we got to do it that way. I mean, there's no other way. <laughs> they ain't going to get it. Uh, I, I, yeah. If, when, when I've done street preaching, I, I just try not to use harsh language. Yeah. That's Did you see me use harsh language? I'm sorry? Did you see me use harsh language? Uh, I don't know. Personally, I would... Uh, Did you see me curse? No. No, no, no not Did not you that. see me lay my hands on them? No, no. Well, back in my day, we... I used to box, so I, I, I've learned self-restraint with people like that. Uh, those people hate us. They want us to shut up. No, I don't. I don't. So we got to keep preaching, unfortunately, no, no, no. and we don't let them disturb us. But I appreciate you being a Christian and coming telling me that. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right. A soft answer turns away wrath. Absolutely. We use that a bunch. All right. All right, brother. Hey, love you, brother. Love you. Want me to pray for you? All right. Huh? Pray for me while I'm going. All right. What's your name? David. David. Nice to meet you, David. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate the brother right here in Christ. Give me some scriptures. Amen. You know, we don't see that often with Christians anymore. Christians don't give scriptures no more. Christians don't want to obey God. Christians don't want to repent for their sins, what they're wrong doing. Listen, we all made mistakes in our life. We've done things that are wrong. But you can be forgiven for it. There's a time coming, ladies and gentlemen. There's a time coming. A judgment day. And we're going to stand before God. Jesus. That is the true God. The only God. Come tell me that Jesus is not God. I'll show you in the Bible he say he's God. 
He said, before Abraham was, I am. I want to say, say, keep doing what you're doing. Hey, man, I appreciate you, bro. You know what I mean? I, I want to go in the line with you, do the same thing. I just got to work on something. Else. You feel me? Yeah. What's your name? Matthew. Matthew? Yeah. You, uh, you, you attend a church or? Yeah, 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 I do. A Christian church or? Yeah, for sure. Good, good, bro. Yeah, I, I know the uh, religion stuff, the demonic stuff. Like, I know Christ is real. You know what I mean? And we need more adventures out here. We need what? We need Matthew. more, yeah, more people like adventures out here. Word of God. I agree. Like, a lot, like, a lot of people are lost. You know what I mean? And, and like, I also want to say is, like, I'm really, I was evangelizing, but then I stopped because the devil, He's like hard, you know what I mean? On like, on like, the, on like the temptations and stuff, you know, with girls and a lot of stuff, man. And I want to say, encourage you, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Amen. Forget what everybody else is saying. A lot of people are blinded by the world, like I was. Yes, sir. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So I'm just encouraging you, like a brother. Hey, in I appreciate you. Your name Matthew. again? Uh huh. Your name again? Matthew. Here, let me give you a sticker. Yeah. You come out here a lot? Yeah. Have you been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Of course. Or the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Yeah. Which one? Huh? You were baptized in the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Yeah, I, I believe in the uh, Trinity. Trinity. Yeah. You what? might not probably believe in that. But it's cool, though. Like, I still no, I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Because uh, Trinity, it says one God and three people. Yeah. But there's no such scripture that says that. Right. I believe in, like, the... You can reach me there. So, I'm going to explain to you. Yes, sir. And I don't got that much time. Yes, I'm a pastor, I, so just so... You said what? Pastor, I'm a pastor. Let me get your number, then. Uh, 281? Yeah. There you go. So, we can talk, but, like... Me? Yeah, because we got to get you to overcome that lust because yeah. lust is going to lead to hell, brother. And I, I know. I deal with many people that, you know. That's what I'm there. saying. I'm, I'm actually, like, I was fasting right now. You know what I mean? Curtis. Curtis? Yes, sir. Yeah. And I, I want to say that. Hit me up. Also, like, because you said something about the Trinity. Yeah. I want to say that I know we have a lot of people that debate that some people are yeah. oneness, some yeah. people are Trinity. Never mind oneness, never mind Trinity. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I'm still at the point where I accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. You know what I mean? However, that he, the, like, how, however God has manifested it, like, in the, when we go to heaven, we don't know yet until we go there, right? Yes, but if you don't believe in Trinity, I respect it. You know, me, I just believe in that, I, I believe in God the Son, God the Father, God the Holy Spirit. That's what I was brought up in. That's what the yeah, revelation I got. we all been brought up in that. You That's know what actually I mean? a Catholic doctrine. You got your phone with you? Yeah. Google where the Trinity started. Okay, let, let me understand. <laughs> what, what is Trinity in your eyes? Well, Trinity, how yeah, they explain it. I might not it. believe in the Trinity that you might believe in. No, there's only one Trinity. It's one God, three people, or three personalities, how they make it. Like okay. you just said, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Yeah. But the Father is God, right? Yes. Is Jesus God? Yes. Is he the Father? Do you believe in, like, so who is God to you? Huh? So, like, who, like, do you believe Jesus. that Jesus is I've actually, higher than... I've actually spoken to God, and his name is Jesus. So, do you believe Jesus and the Father are the same? Yeah. Okay. So, just like, you could be a son and father, right? Yeah. Same thing with Jesus. So what? So what? So what? So See, the son is. Different? I'm gonna I'm explain to you. The son of God and son of man is a title for Jesus because he was in flesh. If you got your Bible with you, we can look it up, or I give you. I more. got like look. I got like five minutes. <laughs> uh huh. You know what I mean? That I gotta. I gotta go. But I'd like to talk to you. I yeah. got. A, you got Instagram? I don't be on social media. Anymore. Gotcha. I took right. a break off it because of lust. Well, we got a YouTube yeah. video. You, yeah, you yeah, I do YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, I do right. YouTube. Yeah. You reach me there too. Hold on. You said Bible verse. Uh, yeah, 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. And every other cha every other thing other than the King James Version is going to change it. And there's a reason to it because the devil don't want you knowing that Jesus Christ is God. 1 Timothy 3, what? Uh, 3, verse 16. Because Thomas called him my Lord and my God. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to call him God, you got to call him Father God. There's no there's no way around it. So beyond the question of the mystery from which, go ahead. Uh, in King James. So you, so you don't believe in other, like the oh, other... Oh, no, I can show you how everything's corrupt, brother. It's corrupt? Oh, yeah. They take out verses. They change words, like right there. Oh, man. And without... It says, God was manifested in the flesh. Right. Jesus God. Yeah, I believe that. See, God is an invisible spirit. Mm -hmm. And that invisible spirit lives and dwells in Jesus. Now, it's not subjected to just the body. It could be yeah. anywhere, heaven and earth at yeah. the same time. Yeah. But in order to see God, okay. you got to go through Jesus. I believe because it's called the judgment seat of Christ. I gotta figure out. So, what is the debate and the vision that? Well, they make it three have. people, huh? They make it three people. See, Trinity came in the third century by the Catholics, and they infiltrated the Christian Church, telling them that one God, three people. That's blasphemy. You say, think about the statement: one God, three people, three personalities. That's a schizophrenic God. 
or it's a contradiction statement. One God, three people. What are you talking about? See what I'm saying? But I, Jesus, I don't, listen. I don't feel convicted though when I when I say that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I don't feel like it's like a a hell issue. Oh, absolutely it is. I don't I don't believe that. Because Jesus, if you I don't believe that, that Jesus Christ is Father God Almighty, no, I believe that He's God. Yeah. I, I believe He's Lord of my life. So is He Father? Huh? Is He the Father? Yes, they're, they're one. Then you don't believe in the Trinity. Because Trinity don't believe in no, it Jesus says, being the Father. But the Bible says Jesus and the Father are one. If you yeah. see me, you see the Father. Exactly. You don't believe in that. <laughs> I don't know what I believe in, man. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Hit me I, I up. I don't know what I believe. I believe We've that. been trained to think a certain way. But the word of God says, Jesus, when you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Yeah, I believe and that. And then in Isaiah 9, 6, it calls him the everlasting Father. Yeah. So, I mean... Why we can't? Why we got a problem calling Jesus the Father God? We can call him God, but we can't call him Father. We can call him Father. We call him all of it. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? That's what they. That's what the Trinity. They don't believe in that. They See, believe it's three people, I'm like not, you just said. I'm not subjected by the Roman Catholic, you know, mm. doctrine. I know they believe. They believe. See, like me, uh -huh. you know, I don't know what type of. I, and I know you preach my bad. I don't hold you too long. No, no, no. I got plenty of time. Yeah, yeah. plenty of time. Okay. Oh, yeah. See, like me, it's my job. I'm a follower of Christ, uh -huh. right? You know, I don't even like like I say Christian, but like people say I'm a Christian as like a like a status. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Or, or as a symbol, I, I say I'm a Christian yeah. because I follow Christ. You know what I mean? But there are moments where I do slip up. So now I'm working on. And we gotta things. fix that. I gotta fix it. No, I, I I know I gotta fix it. I know yeah. I gotta repent. I Good. know that Good. I I have to change the ways I do. It's just sometimes I get so caught up in the world because. I don't have that much community around me, and I get my mind. Man, we got the church. We'll bring you right here yeah. online. You got Google Meets. Google Meets. Yeah, we do no, Word of God studies every two or three days. What's you probably that? got it uh, on your phone already. Yeah, it's with Google. You said Google Meets. Yes, sir. If you text me now, text yeah, me yeah, yeah. I'm, your name yeah, and number yeah. and everything, and I'll, text I'll send me you everything. Because like, I'll send you the I'll send you the Word of God study. You come up on there. Huh. Uh, and we got prayer meetings. Yeah. You can be around more people that are like you. You know. Yeah. Trying to, trying I, I, I want that, man. Like I, I hate. So, like the struggle I was struggling with is like pornography, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yes, messing sir. with girls, you know. You know, some people can't even admit that what you were saying. Yeah. And that's why we out here. Yeah, I know. They don't wanna they don't wanna hear. They, don't they want me it. to shut up. I'm saying, nah, leave me alone, let me go to hell, you know? Nah, bro, I keep saying because hell is real. I actually seen it. Mm, so you said porn. Pornography, masturbation, sex, you know what I mean? So uh, lust, basically, right. Definitely lust. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the number one sin men struggle with. And I struggled with it my whole life. Exactly. But you I know what it. I did? I knew that was leading me to hell because Jesus said in Matthew 5, 28, if a man look on a woman that lust after her, he have committed adultery. Sure. And you have already had sex with that woman just by looking at her, picturing her naked, half naked, whatever it is. So that sin leads to hell. It do. So that made me cry to the Lord, get on my knee. Hey, listen, <laughs> I ain't trying to go. I listen, Houston, hi. You, you from Houston here with me? Yeah. You know, it, it, 120 degrees in Houston. And that that, that pavement be uh, burning your face. Why is your sin is death? Yeah. So I ain't, I ain't made for hell. I'm not either. <laughs> I hate it. You know so, what I mean? I I can feel the, even if you're not a Christian at the beginning, mm -hmm. you can still see the, the the defects and the negative that has towards your mind, your body, oh, how you look at things. Like, even when I was a Christian, I knew porn was bad. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes, and then sir. when I read the Bible, I was like, dang, that's what it was? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like right. The Bible confirmed the, yeah. the results, how pornography was so bad in my life. And I knew that I wanted to marry somebody. I knew that marriage is the way. Yeah. It's not just having sex with all these girls. Yes, you should wait for marriage and then have a wife. Absolutely. But the world's saying, nah, bro, you have fun, you young, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. wait till you 30, 35. So you want to be baggage with all the trauma, and you know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm 22. Yes, sir. I got saved at 19, but I've well, been... are you saved, really? If what you do dealing, you mean by that? Explain. If you're dealing with lust, mm -hmm. you can't be saved. If you sin, I agree. With, I disagree with that. Why you say that? I see, to me, I don't believe that, uh, that if you slip up, you lose your whole because I can still feel the Holy Spirit. Oh no, I'm not saying me. if you make a mistake. And, and Christ is still in me. But you're stuck in this thing, right? No, I used to be stuck in. It. Okay, so you're not. I'm working on it right now. I, I haven't did it. Good. I'm saying like it's a. But have you been delivered? Do you still have the urges for it? Yes. See, that's what we got to work. On. Yeah, I still have the urges, but like we got to overcome. I will claim. It's, but it's temptation though. I don't have it. It's gone. I, I think it's a process, right? No, man. No, I'm. If you listen to me, process. brother. No, 20, no, no. I, I'm not trying to disagree with you. No, no. I'm trying to like, I. I'm how old are you? 22. 22. I'm 39. I live life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I know. You know. Mm -hmm. At your age, I was doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was in the club acting a fool. So you mm -hmm. was probably. A lot, I mean, 22 where you are now is good. Yeah. But we got to get you right 100 percent because one sin can lead you to hell. If the devil was kicked out of heaven for one sin, what makes you think we're gonna make it to heaven in sin? No, I, I agree with that. But to me, I. But in the Bible, in Jude, it says that confess. 
when uh, each other sins are brothers. So it shows that some Christians will sin. Yeah, absolutely. That, that means they got to repent. So, I mean, I'm not going to But not just perfect. repent. Because repent is a change of mind. You know what repentance means? Change of mind, but then... Meaning you ain't doing the sin no more. Exactly. Repentance. Meaning I'm sorry, Lord. I, at that I'm moment, not doing that you no more. repent and change. Sure. But then, six, seven months later, you might mess up. I don't, I don't, I don't want to mess up, but you never know what can happen. You probably going to think I'm lying to you, but I don't mess up. Then you're God. No, not God. I just been then, delivered. Then you're God then. No, no, no. I just been delivered. I have Christ dwelling in me. And but, I, but, 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 but you're not perfect. No, not at all. But... Jesus Christ said be perfect. He made yeah, 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 yeah. So if he told you to be perfect, that means you can achieve. I agree with that. So it's not a it, not saying I don't that, think it's you, it's the Holy Spirit in you. Yeah, you know exactly. What I, mean? yeah. I don't want you to think like you the one that's perfect. Exactly. Because I know people that say that man. Well, I'm not sinless. I never sinned. I was one of the worst sinners there was. So I want to make that very clear to you. Oh, uh, for real? Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, worse hold on, worse I got, than you. <laughs> I got I got I got I got I got one more thing to say. Yes, sir. You said something powerful and personally. Oh, I was gonna show you something. Yeah, show me. But I got one thing before you. Show, after you show me that, mm -hmm. like, I don't think that was helpful when you said that. You was like, man, you're not saved. But like, personally, why wouldn't that be? Why wouldn't that be helpful to you? Because you want me to encourage you to go to hell? No, because I I can I know that I know God. You know, I know Christ in me. So did the devil. You know what I mean? But like, I can't. Like, I can't believe what you're saying because the Holy Spirit not saying the same thing to me. What if I show you in the Bible? Would you believe it is? Exactly, but the, but the, whole, the, the Holy this, Spirit this is telling me. What if I showed you in the Bible? He has grace, though, my brother. He has grace. Grace, grace don't teach nobody to sin. He has grace, though. I can show you where you can lose the grace of God. I'm not encouraging the sin. Have I ever said that I want to live in sin? No. I'm just saying that I'm struggling with it, right? Yeah. I, I did struggle with it. I'm literally turning away from it. Mm. I'm doing the effort. God sees what I'm doing. Yes, sir. No, so... I get what you're saying, but I'm not like these other people that's living in sin, saying, hey, bro, I'm going to do what I want to do I, because I can do what I know. I want to come to you, God. I'm, I know I'm struggling. It's my mind. It's my it's my, yeah. it's my brain. And that's what flesh. we got to get right. That's what I'm it's telling you. flesh, bro. But I'm, I'm telling you, we can get you right. Yes. But you got to call no, on. you can't get me right. No, Only I can't Christ, do nothing. Only Christ can. Yeah, you're right about that. You, yeah. you can't get me right, man. But we want to yeah. get you right with Christ's word. Yes. So. No, I, I agree. Let, let me show you this I, yeah. real quick. Show me, show me. Yeah, yeah. It okay. says in Isaiah 59, 59 2. Yeah. You want me to read it or you want yeah, to read it? You got it. But your iniquities, what does yeah. iniquities mean? Uh, like sin. Sin, right? But your sins have separated between you and your God. Yeah. And your sins had hid his face from you that he would not hear. Yeah. So sin pushes God away, brother. Right. That's why we got to overcome sin, and that's right. why the Spirit of Christ. That's right. why I asked you, would you baptize uh, in Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Were you baptized in that? I was. I did both. Both? So you yeah. were baptized in Jesus Christ's name yeah. alone? Okay, Jesus good. Jesus Christ, Father, Son. I, at first, I was Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I was a Baptist church. Then I did Jesus Christ at oh. the Christ, uh, this other church I was in. That oneness church name, right? No, Father it wasn't son. oneness. It was like... Uh, Pentecostal or something? Something like that, Pentecostal yeah, 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 and everything. Yeah. But I did both, you know. They like, do the, they do the baptism right. Listen, the yeah. uh, the Catholics actually changed that. Not only did they change change that that Trinity, mm -hmm. the uh, one God, the Trinity, um, that they yeah. that they uh, actually yeah. changed the baptism formula. You can look that up too. Dang, for real. They changed it from Father uh, uh, Jesus Christ to Father God and Holy Ghost. Yeah. Because they're trying to rob you of Christ's Spirit living and dwelling in you that can deliver you from sin. With Christ living in me. I overcame sin. I'm set free. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, if you if you commit a sin, you are of the devil. God yeah. said. So if God says right. that you are of the devil, if you're sinning, then that is, we got to change. Living in sin. Because born in, in, in I'll show you sin. one more. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, 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 I feel like, I feel like, because like, I, I believe this. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. That when you say Christ, you are my Lord and Savior, and you actually are changing the way. Because I've seen, that's why no one can question me and talk me out of it of, who Christ is because I thought I said Christ help me from this situation I need my help and I seen evidence change in my life yes, sir. when I actually went to Christ but mm -hmm. I have and I'm not temptations. I'm not saying that you didn't have that I want to make mm -hmm. that very clear yeah but we can't be say. saved mm -hmm. and sinning at the same time the two don't go together sinning is the devil remember the scripture says huh can you yeah, absolutely and then you come back yes yeah, sir but I would That's say you was never born again because look what it says here what do you mean by that born again Whoever is born of God doeth not commit mm -hmm. sin, for his seed remain in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. Okay. This is scripture. When are you going to be free to talk again? I feel like <laughs> it's going to be a long talk. And I yeah, yeah. Go Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I want you to call me. Uh, it, te like, text, like, text me your number. I did. Like, when are okay. you going to be free to talk? Oh, anytime. This is my job, brother. What time? What time, though? Like, uh, gonna I'm probably going to leave here. I'm going to go to the Rockets over there, and I'm going to preach over there for a little while. Probably stay here for about 30, 40 minutes. I'll probably get home about 8 or 9 o'clock. 8, 9 o'clock. Okay, 8. Uh, eight actually, we're going to have Word of God study at 8.30, so I'm going to be way be before busy. that time. No, way before that time. Okay, look, call me 
I, te- I, te- I text you my name. Like, all right. I-, I think you will do it. Matthew? Wait, do you got a Samsung or an iPhone? Uh, Samsung. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Yeah, Matthew, that's my name. Yes, sir, Matthew. Call me after you're done evangelizing. Yes, sir. Absolutely. It was nice talking to you. Absolutely. Like, mm-hmm. I, I want to say. Can we pray? Yeah, let's pray. All right. Yeah. Matthew, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you to watch over Matthew, guide him, protect him. Keep him focused on you and your word, Lord. Take away any kind of distractions or any lust that is trying to overcome him, Lord. Bless him with your spirit and help him to be guided by you, Lord. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, All love man. you, Matthew. Love you too, man. Have a good one, man. Yes, sir. Get in God touch with me. Yes, sir. I, I got your number, so I'm going to Yeah, call me, call me after you're done with doing you're doing. All right. All right, man. God bless you. Y'all got more scripts I want to talk to you about. Man. Yeah, I want to talk about it. I love it. I love <laughs> All right. it, man. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, love you, man. Love you too.